हे गायज दिस ईयर आई टी जैम पेपर वॉज कंडक्टेड बाई आई आई टी खडकपुर ऑन टेंथ ऑफ फेब सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस द सोल्यूशन ऑफ फर्स्ट टेन क्वेश्चन ऑफ द फिजिक्स पेपर द सोल्यूशन विल नॉट बी वेरी डिटेल्ड बिकॉज दैट विल मेक द वीडियो लॉन्ग आई आई विल गिव यू सम हिंट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट so in question number 1 we are given a function 8x upon x square plus 9 and we have to check where the function is not continuous so see you can do this question by two method first by checking each options separately and by putting its value uh, by putting values and checking the value of function and uh, the other way is uh, the other way is check that um where the function will be discontinuous when the denominator will be zero so equating the denominator to the zero x square plus 9 is equal to 0 we get the value of x as plus minus 3 iota so by which the option will be d you can also do it by putting the well, uh, options uh, in the function and checking the value of uh, fx uh, that will also serve the purpose okay now moving to the second question in this question uh, we uh, we have to find a unit vector perpendicular to the plane containing vector a and vector b so we have to find a vector that is perpendicular to both the vector so how we can find this we can find this by the finding the cross product of vector and vector b and since we have to find a unit vector so we have to divide it by its magnitude so what i have done is Uh, we have to do. We have to first find a cross b and then divide it by its magnitude. By uh, when we you will do that, you will get. Uh, you will see that option D was the right option. Okay. Now moving to the third question. In third question, we have been asked that when a transistor is used as a amplifier, what are the conditions on the resistance of base emitter and base collector junction? C. uh since base emitter junction is a forward bias so rb base emitter resistance will be low and and since base collector junction is reverse bias so base collector resistance will be high so by that way we see that option b will be the right on answer uh moving to the question number 4 in this we have been asked that uh, a carnot uh, a carnot cycle uh, heat is when the heat is added to the substance a working substance what uh, what which of the following quantity is constant uh, entropy pressure temperature and volume so for that you have to see the pv diagram of a carnot engine uh, in, in which ab is ab and cd is an isothermal process and bc and Uh, d is an adiabatic process so b obviously the heat will not be given or released in b c and d a and heat is given in the process a b and since this process is isothermal so the temperature will be constant so heat when the heat is added the temperature is constant so option c is the right answer okay now moving to the fifth problem fifth problem we are given a scalar function uh, which satisfy the laplace equation then the gradient of phi is we have to find uh, the gradient of phi is what so it uh, in this case option a will be correct the gradient of phi will be a vector that will be solenoidal and irrotational so option a is right now moving to the next question uh in fermi dirac distribution we have to find the function ne we have been given four options so this was a formula based question and uh, in this case option c is the option c is right one upon exponential e minus ef over kt plus 1 uh just pay the attention that if uh, in instead of fermi dirac distribution it would have been asked about uh bose einstein then the answer would have been become 1 uh, 1 upon exponential e minus e f over kt minus 1 that uh, then a would have been answer 
and if uh, uh, instead of Fermi Dirac it would have given Maxwell Boltzmann then the option would have been 1 upon e exponential e minus ef over kt but for the Fermi Dirac case uh, option c is the right answer okay now moving to the seventh question in this we are given a crystallographic plane uh, and we have been asked which of the plane is representing 1 o 1 okay so, uh, since we know the formula to find the miller indices is that and in this uh, since it is a cubic crystal so a will be equal to b will be equal to c since we have to check for 1 0 1 so oa will be a and oc will be equal to a so since a is what one since a is representing the miller indices 1 1 1 uh, when we check uh, b we get that oa is equal to a and ob is equal to infinity and oc equal to 1 because oa ob and oc represent the intercept on x y and z axis respectively so oa is equal to 1 and oc is equal to 1 in this case of option b so option b is the correct answer moving to the next question <coughs> in this question we have uh, given a classical particle whose total energy in e and uh, a potential energy is u and the pl plot of potential energy versus r is given and we have been asked which are the region are forbidden since we know that in classical particle any particle cannot have a potential energy greater than total energy so in region 1 and 3 the particles potential energy is greater than its total energy so region 1 and 3 is forbidden so of, according to that option d is the right answer moving to the next question in this uh, question we have we have been given at in the thermal neutron induced fission of uranium 235 uh, the distribution of relative number of observed fission fragments versus mass number so when a fission of uranium 235 is taken place it the mass uh, yield versus mass number gives uh, follows this pattern and uh, if we match it by our, our given example then by that option a is the right answer if you want to read uh, more about this then you can google it i have also downloaded the pic from google itself now moving to the last question of this video in this question we have been asked that the isothermal compressibility is given by so for that we must know that isothermal compressibility is the given by one upon isothermal compressibility is given by one upon bulk modulus and we know that bulk modulus is given by minus times dp upon dv over v at constant temperature and by that we get bulk modulus and when we find the reciprocal of bulk modulus we get the isothermal compressibility which is c according to the on options given so in this c is the right answer so that's all for in this video guys uh, in next video i will uh, give you the solution from question number 11 to question number 20 so if you have uh, liked the video give it a thumbs up share it with your, with your friends and subscribe the channel for regular updates thank you guys